So in this video, I want to show you some creative ideas for the EQ inside of Bitwig Studio. And all we need for that is here some kind of polymer synthesizer running just a saw wave. And we want to use this here with the EQ Plus. And the EQ Plus itself is just a monophonic, uh, monophonic FX device. But we can utilize the FX grid and voice stacking to actually apply um, polyphonic modulations to the EQ plus. So we can use here an FX grid, right? And put the F, uh, EQ plus inside of the post FX box here. And then we can put the FX grid into voice stacking mode, let's say eight voices. And we can add here an LFO. I use the classic LFO here. And the LFO at the moment is in monophonic mode, but we can switch this here on the left side in the inspector to per voice mode. So now we have eight dots here, which means we have eight LFOs running per voice. Because we selected eight voices, we have now eight modulations on this device. And all of these LFOs have the same speed and are in the same phase, which is kind of okay. Inside of the FX grid here, we use a value knob. Uh, the value knob also has in, is in bipolar mode and we modulate here the value knob with this uh, LFO, of course, by just 100%, okay? So now we need here a device called voice talk, which makes it possible to mute or to enable certain voices inside of the grid because we are in voice tech mode. We have here uh, eight voices available, but we deselect every voice here because we only want to have voice one here and I want to use your modulator out okay so now we duplicate this eight times so um, voice one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight voices and we want to extract for each modulator a different voice voice three this is four five six seven and eight okay so now we have each lfo here one of these dots on each of these modulators so now we can create here on the eq plus different eq parameters exactly eight and we want to select here um, some kind of scale right so i'm choosing here choosing here frequencies in a scale. So let's go for D sharp zero, D sharp, uh, let's say D sharp one, D sharp two, D sharp three, D sharp four, five, six, Seven. Okay, so we have only selected here the note D sharp in multiple octaves. And we also can apply now the stack spread modulator here from zero to plus one. So now what we do is we just offset the phase of the LFO, right? We have here a phase of zero percent for for all of these things, and we use a stack spread modulator to change the phase for each LFO on these voices. So we just apply here 50% on the mode phase 50% um, and now we get this nice little wave here right so all we have to do now is to take all these modulators uh, modulator outs here and modulate the amount on each of these parameters so this is voice one it's voice two three four six, seven, eight. Okay, so now we have this nice little wave running here. And we want to add here a macro and we want to change the Q with this. So let's add here this modulation to all the parameters. You maybe want to also do this here per voice, but I want to change all the Q parameters with the same amount. So I can make this pretty narrow or broad. You can also add here 
an amplifier to amplify the signal and sounds like this maybe we add here a peak limiter at the end or randomize and remember this is still a saw wave right And if you don't want to uh, change the frequency here manually, you can just use a step mod. Uh, put this into 16 node steps here, randomize this, and then we change this here. Let's go to eight six steps maybe here and change the Q. So you can sequence the whole thing if you want to. Um, that's the that's the idea here. Um, we can also uh, take here the phase. Um, at the moment here we make basically a linear offset for each LFO, right? You see this wave and the wave never changes. It's basically just a wave, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's dial this in here a bit more, which is kind of nice. But we can also use here the stack spread modulator to change or to offset the frequency for each LFO slightly. So then it becomes like a polymeter. So maybe do this here. So you can see it's still a wave, but then it changes slightly because every dot has a different frequency. It becomes a polymeter, right? Now it becomes, the waves get steeper and steeper. And then you have this random motion here. And then at some point they get basically in, in phase, do the same thing. So it's not like random, it's more like a polymeter, right? It's constantly changing in a algorithmic way. It can be also interesting maybe. Okay, so you can offset the LFO speed here with the stack spread modulator quite yeah, easily. And it gives you then these polymeter modulations. So just double click this here and we use here no tree trigger and everything is back into phase or at least in the same linear phase offset here. Um, okay, so now that we have this, we can also say, instead of just using one EQ plus, we use two EQs, right? something like this but they have the same modulation they have the same waveform here playing which can be also nice but we want to change that we want to use here uh let's say 16 voices so we duplicate this we switch here the voice stacking to 16 and on this one we delete all the modulations here Okay. So there's no modulation here to the second one. And here we select different voices. So we start with nine. This is 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. Okay. And then we have to apply here again the modulations with the new bunch of modulators here to the modulation uh, to the band gain.
Okay, so now because we have here 16 voice stacks, we have 16 LFOs, and all of these LFOs are slightly offset by the same amount here for the for the phase offset. And now we have basically this wave running from one EQ to the other EQ, right? It's just one continuously waving wave. <laughs> Um, we still can change it to Q setting. And we can amplify here this. So it's kind of connected here. So now we can do the same things. And maybe instead of using the same frequencies here, we can offset the whole EQ by just one octave maybe, or two octaves. Or maybe just a fifth, something like this. So this is instead of D sharp, we have here now um, A sharp. It looks kind of cool, right? You can also put this here in <laughs> big mode if you want to. Um, but yeah, you can do all kinds of crazy things just with this kind of modulation um, inside of Bitwig. Um, so another idea would be to, instead of using the LFO and also changing here the LFO speed offset, we can also say we want to use, instead of the LFO, we want to use a step modulator. So let's use a step modulator here and we rem remove here the modulation amount to the value completely, right? So this is not modulating anything. So we want to use here the step modulator for this. So we have 16 voices. We have also 16 steps in here. We clear this out and we put this LFO into per voice mode also. And we want to use here this modulation out from the stack split modulator and we apply this to the uh, phase modulation here by exactly 100%. Exactly. One, that's okay. And we put this here into hold. So now each draw or each bar becomes basically EQ setting. So we can dial in here. We have to apply the modulation amount, of course. 100%. Put this into bipolar mode. It's here. and then amplify this here a bit, right? So now we can basically dial in here EQ settings with the, yeah, with the step modulator, which is easy to draw, right? And we can draw in frequencies across two, um, yeah, two EQs, and it's still in a scale. So all these parameters are basically in D sharp minor. Uh, this is D sharps and this, this is all A sharps. So it's still highly musical, right? Right? And instead of just using one step modulator, we can use two and we can randomize this. We have different settings. And instead of using this modulator and modulating the value directly, we use a mix modulator, not Mac, mix. And with this one, we modulate your basically um, the A by 100% and this one with B 100%. And then we put this modulator here, this mix modulator also in per voice mode, that's important. So now we can fade, I think, or oh, we have to modulate here the value again. So this one modulates then the value. So now we can fade between this step mode and this step mode, right? We have two EQ settings here. And then you can morph between this one, this one, you can randomize and using the step mode, it's even yeah safe to save your project or save it as a uh, preset or anything like this and this is preser preserved basically it's saved with the preset and with the with the project um, we can also uh, 
apply here this LFO back again slightly or maybe full time 100%. So we bring back this wave form here into that. Use a macro modulator here and change the amount with that. And call this wave. Okay. So instead of having a static EQ or two static EQ settings, you bring in the wave with a bit of modulation here to bring in yeah movement into your sound. So these are my ideas for the EQ+. Plus. Like I said, you can also use this on an EQ5 if you want to. It works exactly the same way, but here you only have five uh, parameters. You can also use this for all kinds of different effects if you want to. Um, so the idea here is basically that you use a monophonic device, put it into a polyphonic device like the FX grid, then you use voice stacking to actually make these LFOs or modulators uh, polyphonic, and then use stack spread modulators and um, different modulations to change them differently on different voices, and then extract these different voices here to modulations onto these monophonic devices. So it's actually not that hard if you get the idea how it works um, and it's easy to apply. All you need to do is basically use these voice talks here and then extract, you know, different voices from these modulations. Um, yeah, it's actually not that hard. And I think it's it's pretty crazy what you can do inside of Bitwig just with a few modulations and a bit of voice stacking. Um, yeah, it's quite creative and yeah. It sounds probably interesting or it gives you some interesting ideas for sound design. Okay, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. If you have some questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.